All right, guys, and welcome. So today we are going to talk about the FM25 announcement. And yes, it may seem like I'm a couple of days late, but I wanted to take in what everyone else was doing. I saw a lot of people reacting. And to be honest, the community, the hardcore community, they're not happy. But I'm going to look at it from a point of view after seeing everyone else's comments, seeing their other point of views. I'm going to give you mine. So let's look at some of the best points of it and some of the worst. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, we've gone to FM blog and we've looked at how they've broken down the most key points to this. And a lot of people are crying because the hardcore aspect is being taken out of the game and oh, I've grinded for so, just relax. Let's have a look at it. Everybody calm down. So first thing to look at here and the main point, obviously that everyone's talking about women's football being added to the game. And I actually saw a couple of people talking about this. Some people are happy about it. Some people don't really care. Some people just don't like it at all. For me, I actually like the idea of learning a whole different aspect. It's like entering just one of them random league ones and you have no idea what you're doing and you can build your name up there and can you break from the women's game into the men's game. It's going to be interesting to see how they rate the, the reputation, the statues of some of these teams. That's probably going to be the key to this for me. I want to see how they do it. Are they going to be realistic or they're going to kind of do what FIFA have done with it and just kind of saturate it to the max. But we, we won't get into that too much. But looking here as well, I think it's going to be a good addition. It is going to be slightly late and we're aware that international football isn't going to be in it at all. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's I think it's going to be an interesting side. So let's look at the next point. The next point is the new interface. And obviously the interface is going to be a whole different overhaul of it. And it's going to be user friendly. That is the key words there. Because user friendly is triggering the whole community. But the community doesn't need to worry because user friendly doesn't always have to be bad oh the in-depth side of it to streamline the game no there's going to be a slightly streamlined version and there's going to be an ability to streamline it but all your in-depth details are still going to be there trust me it's the same as you look at you used to have a sony ericsson if you're old like me back in the day you had a sony ericsson and it was a dog's bollocks could do it all could do everything i could play my music and that. now you've got an iphone way more user friendly if you look at an old phone these phones now way more user friendly you're going to be okay they're going to work and it's going to be nice and streamlined for the people who want to go faster pace bringing in a new audience meaning more money meaning they're going to develop the game better with the new unity one as well how about just stay calm have faith they know what they're doing they know what they're built on i hope Next up, the tactics, match experience, and your manager. So there's not really much that we've seen on it as well. They've not really shown us that as well. And obviously talking about the key aspects, foot manager, gameplay are currently locked, but are expected to be bringing exciting new changes. Obviously, they're talking about changing the whole tactical side of it and how you kind of experience your match day. And for me, I think that's quite important because it's been kind of same, same for a couple of years and it's always been similar. And I know we all love what it is and there's a slight level of spectrum based here for fm players we get so obsessed and fixated on one thing and we don't like change but maybe this change is going to be good if they're going to actually allow us to build up how our team plays outside of possession a lot more that's the one i want to see can you change it from there as well i've seen a lot of stuff of there's no shouts and stuff as well anymore and i don't like that i'm gonna admit i am a shout absolute i just do it i'm obsessed shout 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 encourage praise blah 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 you know it i'm sure you do it as well but i think a little change will be good so again i'm gonna stay positive i'm not gonna be too negative uh, obviously the fm mobile console and touch versions this is the base there as well i'm happy for them to keep this kind of separate to the pc version i have played on my xbox i've played on my phone i first got into it playing on my phone and then i actually got a version myself i i came in 2012 fm 2012 was my first proper one i've had goes before i've tried other stuff but this is where it clicked for me this is where i felt that connection and where i felt like you know what fm is for me i got the bug i got luton all the way down in conference to the prem and that for me just felt such a massive achievement i actually felt a sense of pride in it as well and that, that's what built on my fm love and i'd love you to comment down below what your fm love is everybody has their first true love and i've always had a soft spot for Luton since and i actually once believed that i could be a manager myself and i believe it's easy because you know look what i can do on fm it's what i do check out some of the rebuilds that are coming out soon you know what i mean i truly believed i could do it all but reality is i can't 
but I can. Does that make sense? Keep moving, keep moving on. Some of the key dates. Now, the key dates are very important here because even though it says about the pre-release and beta, it's expected to be two weeks before the official release, which the official release is obviously the 26th, meaning we are only about six weeks away from potential beta release. They haven't actually announced a beta release as to this point of this video. So is there gonna be one? And is that because it's a good thing or a bad thing? A lot of people are talking about, oh, they've not announced it because, oh, it's going to be awful. They're, they're, they're struggling and whatever. Maybe they're so excited. They want to keep you in the dark. They want you all to be overwhelmed with what have we just seen. This could be the greatest. This is make or break for a lot of people's FM career because a lot of people are going to go, you know what? This is just taking it to a whole new level. I don't want it to become like FIFA, by the way. If I see add-ons, which are just gambling stuff because the Belgians had it right to start with. They called EA out for their nonsense. That is a gambling game now. That is all that is. I don't want to see that. I don't want any of that. Keep that out of my game and I'll be happy. I'm happy with the add-ons now. You know exactly what you're buying. There's no gambling aspect to it. Do you want to boost? <laughs> do you want to boost it, make it easy for yourself? What do you want to do? But it is all there. Not, oh, buy this and you might get this or collect these. Please don't do any of that. I am begging, do not do not become EA. Do not become money grabbing. But in exchange for that, we have to accept. They have to be able to build their company still. They have to be able to bring new people in, keep people engaged because not everybody is going to stay around forever. So they do need a new audience. And the lack of attention span at the moment, it means they have to go streamland a little more. But they should be able to balance the two. So stay positive. Let's hope there is a beta because God do love a beta. As I said, the official release is on the 26th. That is pretty standard now. Obviously, that was delayed. Um, again, the delay causes concern. And there is a concern from me, but I'm staying positive. I don't care. I'm staying positive. Uh, future updates and stuff are going to happen as well. They, they're very good at actually updating a lot of things. I hope that with the new engine, there's not going to be any sort of broken meta. Obviously, you've got that in previous ones before. You played this formation. You win no matter what. You can't be stopped. Please, 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 none of that as well. Uh, one of my final points I want to talk about here on this update here as well. This logo. No. I don't like it. Not a fan. Interesting point though, football manager 25, not 2025, 20, 25. I know we all call it FM25, but I don't like them doing it. Is that weird? It's a little weird and it? it's a bit nitpicky. Uh, but obviously the key takeaways they're talking about here is the improved match engine, revamped interface, women's football coming into it as well, and promising to deliver a more immersive and realistic experience. That I do believe. I have all faith in them doing that. I believe 100% they are going to bring in a much more detailed and kind of gameplay feeling because that's what this is all about. The menu is going to be one thing and I hope that still stays as detailed as it is. But the gameplay, how are you going to bring us in on game day? Game day? Because that's the whole new the direction they're going in. They don't need to be FIFA. You don't need it. I don't need it. You don't need it. They don't need it. It doesn't need to be crazy graphics. We just need a slight improvement, a, a better match engine, a more fun feeling day. It is going to mean a lot for a PC. So a PC upgrade is going to be needed for me, I believe. I'm going to have to boost this up a bit because I want I want top of the range here because this game means everything to me. Very sad to say. Uh, what we're going to look at now is we're actually going to look at a couple of them. And I'm aware these screenshots are very small, very well planned from them as well. But as you can see here, they've got the blurred out here. I'm guessing this is a licensing issue. I've seen a lot of people talk about it. I think it is licensing, but they're actually also highlighting they've got the Premier League now. So they've got all the faces and stuff as well, which is just going to feel massive. For a lot of us, like myself, I love doing Premier League saves and English saves. All the licensing there is going to mean a lot to me. Uh, it's going to save me a lot of time faffing around. I probably won't bother with the rest of them. Uh, but yeah, you've got all that there as well. And as we look through here as well, it's just kind of showing, obviously this is talking about the performance center and all. It looks... It looks like these things you're going to be able to click through and look into different areas and they're kind of breaking it down for you as well. I don't think this looks anywhere near as bad as the starting skin that you have when you first start off anyway on normal FM. This looks like an improvement and to me, I like the streamline fine of it. I actually am someone who does play quite fast pace sometimes. I do want to slow it down, but I like fast pace as well. So maybe I'm not the perfect person for you. 
I, I admit that you're not going to like that completely. But looking through here as well, this is obviously looking at players. This looks pretty normal. Obviously, we've seen all the breaking down here. This annoyingly in the way, telling me work in progress. We know. But as you can see here, everything looks pretty much kind of normal. I think they're going to add a lot more detail onto this screen that they're not showing you now. Because I feel like that's going to give away something else. But again, we look through what else is showing us. Just again, showing us some of the women's one. Look at these stats now. Am I bothered by that? No, because the more I think about it, I was going to say, you actually can't combine them like FIFA did. So maybe it's not a problem. Yeah, the women's game can do what they're doing. I'm actually going to be fine. I'm not going to be one of the negative people. Uh, but they're showing here again, just the same on there as well. And same there, obviously, just showing on the bright and stuff as well. So they're not really giving much away. But what do you think that means? Do you think they're hiding something? Or do you think they're excited to show us and kind of throw it all at us in one big go and overwhelm us information? Well, I don't know. I'm going to stay positive. I think it's actually going to be a pretty good game. I think it's going to be a step forward. I will admit, though, if they do take a step backwards, they're going to lose a lot of people. I'm not going to like this. Obviously, I'm doing a lot of content on it at the moment anyway, and I'm going to be doing a lot. So I'm going to play it regardless. So I'm going to be in the trenches. I hope I see you there. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear them, and I'll see you in the next one.